All right, what is up guys? Welcome to the channel. I know it's been a while, but I just wanted to do like a quick first look at these Rhino motors that Jess over at Negative G got for testing. So this one is the RMS12 1900 KV. I guess that's just like their model designation, but it's a 2812 stator. And so what that means is it's a little bit bigger than like a Holmes Hobby snub nose. So that's a 2810 in the second pair of numbers, the 10 and the 12, that is the, like the stator height. So it's two millimeters taller. So it has that much more stator volume. You know, the big cans like a Team Broad Riot is a, I think it's a 2820. So, you know, it's almost like twice as long, comes all the way out to the battery. A motor that big is gonna have a lot more torque and it's gonna be a lot smoother when it switches from side mode to normal mode. Um, but you know, then they're also adding about like 50 grams of weight. This motor, I didn't weigh it, but it's listed at 84 grams and I believe it because the wires are 16 gauge, which is thinner than most Outrunner motors. Um, and that's not an issue. It, it, it just so happens to be that, you know, these motors and these Rhino ESCs are being manufactured by DYS, which is historically like a drone, like an FPV drone company. And so they've been doing this for, you know, probably like decades. So they know that 16 gauge wire for this application is plenty. When you see these outrunner motors coming with like 14 and 12 gauge wire, it's like super overkill because the current draw is really low. I've got the 80 amp Rhino ESC in this truck and I've got the 40 amp in that one just to kind of compare. Doesn't seem to be a huge difference between the two ESCs as far as like the smoothness and like the switching power and like how much the motor cogs when it switches. The, the two main differences are that you would want to use the 80 amp ESC if you had a servo that was like 8.4 volts. So you needed a Beck because this has a 10 amp Beck in it. So you don't need to like install a second Beck. It's not quite as strong as like a castle Beck, but it, for me, it, it, works good enough. The 40 amp Rhino has like a three amp Beck. So you would want to use that ESC if you had a direct powered servo. And then, you know, you also end up saving a little bit of weight that way too. So now as far as the motor, you know, it, it does get a little coggy if the truck is jammed up really bad, but for normal crawling, um, as far as the smoothness, you know, it, it's just as smooth as like one of my Team Broad Riots, the one of those big cans. And in my little bit of driving, it didn't seem to cog too bad unless I really got the truck bound up. Um, 1900 kV, so wheel speed seems fine. So far, you know, for how small this motor is, because it's smaller than even like a Riot S, I believe. Um, it, it seems to be pretty torquey as far as switching speed. So, you know, I'm going to drive these motors for a little bit longer because I've got them in both trucks with the two different ESCs and just to see how they stack up. But so far, they seem pretty good. And, you know, importantly, they'll probably be pretty fairly priced. And I do kind of like how they have that, like, blue um, anodizing on the end of the bell, that looks pretty sick. And this is just on my CC V1 capper build again with the 80 amp Rhino. So yeah, that's all I got for now guys. So far, so good. Um, definitely like not as coggy as like something like a snub nose. I do, I have one of those in like 1850 KV and that's easily my coggiest motor, which makes sense because it's so small. Um, but this one does seem more comparable to like a Riot S.
instead of the right SS. So that's that's pretty good given the size and the weight. All right, guys, if you have any uh, questions or complaints, leave them in the comments. And thanks for watching.